Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. I would like to thank you so much for joining me in the virtual studio. We're going to use this time to simply relax and calm our minds and our bodies down for our session here today. So I ask that you find your body in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help round and center and relax our bodies here today. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight at our navel. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have control of our bodies. Our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears. Allowing us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice deep breath in, hold a breath, exhale. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Breathing our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for you. Breathe in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we hang out here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, we're going to flow into a seated salute. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Palms are together. As we interlace our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras opened. Chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center as we separate our palms coming into a seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. In our seated salute, our palms are together. In our seated extended mountain, our palms are separated. Just taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. As we twist our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist, relaxing and soothing our spine here. With our eyes gaze down, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a seated star. In our seated star, our palms are outward towards the side. Our seated extended mountain, our palms are up. So taking a moment to notice the difference between the seated extended mountain and the seated star. As we twist our bodies towards the left, Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. We are in our seated twist, opposite side. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Feeling this pose, feeling like a star, feeling strong and powerful. Taking a moment to check in with self. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms up to our salute, exhale to prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Feeling the body relax and soothe here. As we breathe our palms outward towards the side, as we breathe our arms outward towards the side, our palms can be up, our palms can be down, whatever feels good for you. As we rotate our shoulders towards the front, we are working on strengthening 
and toning the upper parts of our bodies here. So we're doing shoulder or arm rotations here. And we can go nice and small, or we can make nice big circles. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Noticing the different type of circles, you'll feel it differently within your body. You may already be feeling a burn. Little movements can have a huge impact on the body. As we find our pause, we're going to continue to flow and rotate our arms in the opposite direction. Nice, steady movements. Maybe going nice and big in those backward circles. Feeling that burn. Two more breaths. Finding our pause as we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, interlacing our fingers, pointing finger points up towards the heavens, arms slow slightly towards the back. That heart chakra is open, that chin is up. Noticing how this is a counter stretch to what we just did. This relaxes and soothes the upper parts of the body. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body to center, coming into that prayer. Breathing the palms down their heart center. Nice and easy movements here. Relaxing those shoulders down as we gaze downward towards the earth or close our eyes. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing back up to our salute, palms above our head. Exhale into that seated extended mountain. We're gonna separate those palms. We're gonna allow this right hand to come down towards the earth, connecting that right palm to the earth. As our bodies lean towards the right, our left arm flows over our head. As we gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra, we are in our seated side bend. Three more breaths. Exhale into center, left palm connects to the earth. We have both of our palms connected to the earth. As we lift our right arm above our heads, feeling that stretch, body leans towards the left, feeling that side bend, opposite side. Gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, connecting that right hand to the earth. Both palms are connected to the earth. As we are using our palms to connect to our environment, simply taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, without judgment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. As we relax here for three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms up, coming back into that salute. Exhale to prayer. As we flow our feet into a bound position, connecting the bottoms of our feet together. We are in our bound position here. This is a hip opener. Now we can be either in our butterfly, meaning our feet are closer towards our torso. That is a deeper hip opener. Or we can be in our diamond, meaning our feet are slightly further away from our bodies. I'm taking a moment to notice that both poses look the same. However, they feel a little bit more different in the body. The diamond pose isn't as deep of a hip opener here. So whatever feels best for you, may you flow into that bound position. Connecting our hands to our feet. Noticing how this feels. Maybe playing with our feet with each other. You know, just allowing our feet to connect and seeing how that feels as we connect our hands to our feet and simply play around. Allowing the movements of our own feet connecting to each other to relax and soothe 
each other. We are self-soothing here. Connecting our hands, maybe applying pressure to our toes or to both of our feet together. Whatever feels good for you. Connecting to those pressure points on our feet. Maybe we can open our feet up like a book and connect our hands, squeezing the balls of our feet, the heels of our feet, the center of our feet, whatever feels good for you. Four more breaths, we're showing our feet a little love. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we squeeze our feet back together, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing how when we hinge at the hips, we go deeper into that hip flexor here. We go deeper into that hip open. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down, listening to your body. As our torso connects to our feet or as our torso flows towards our feet, they don't have to connect. As our head relaxes downward towards our feet, Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. This allows our bodies to completely relax here. This allows us to go a little more deeper into that hip opener. Listening to your body, and if you feel any discomfort, slightly pushing your body out of that pose will come up just a little. The goal is to relax and soothe, not to cause any pain. And then we hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our bodies out of that forward fold. <sighs> Relaxing with our spinal cord nice and long, our heart chakras open and our chin is up. May we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Flowing into a seated cow. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our bound position, using our hands to bring our knees inward as we straighten out our legs coming into a staff pose. Legs are straight parallel in front of us. Spinal cords nice and elongated here. Heart chakras opened. Shoulders are relaxed downward. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into that suit. Exhale to prayer. As we relax our palms on our laps or on the earth, we're gonna dorsiflex our toes up in the air, feeling that stretch as our toes points up towards the heavens. Exhaling our toes downward towards the earth. Now we're in that plantar flex. Our toes are pointing downward towards the earth creating that arch at the bottom of the foot. Noticing how this feels. As we slightly hinge at the hips, maybe just allowing the torso to come closer towards the thigh with our toes pointing downward towards the earth in that dorsi, I'm sorry, in that plantar flex. And if we're able, if we're able, allowing our head to relax downward towards our knees, coming deeper into that flex. Noticing how this feels. And we can go deeper if we choose, connecting our hands to our ankles or connecting our hands to the lower parts of our feet. So we can be in our half seated forward fold or we can be in our complete forward fold. With our eyes gazed down, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward to completely relax the body here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. 
Flowing up to our staff pose, relaxing the body here. Flowing up to our staff pose, relaxing the body here. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart, our elbows are straight, our tummies are nice and tight. As we drop our bodies down, we're gonna flow into the that cow pose. Head flows between the shoulder blades. Our chin is up, our heart chakra is open. Two more breaths. Exhale into cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Finding our pause at center, we are in our tabletop pose. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we are in our sunburn. Right legs towards the back, feeling that stretch. Hmm. Both palms are flat on the earth as we pulse the leg up in the air. We are working at gluteus maximus. We are lifting and rounding. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Feeling that burn. So you find that pause. You're gonna extend that left arm forward, coming into that full sunburn. We are balancing and strengthening the body here. Four breaths. Gazing forward. Tummies are still tight. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale into our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, extending that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. Tummies are tight. As we pulse that left leg up, rounding and lifting our gluteus maximus, our buttocks here. As we are gaze forward, four more breaths. Two breaths. <sighs> Finding our pause as we extend that right arm forward, if that feels good. Keeping in mind, I didn't say this on the other side, but we can always lower those toes downward towards the earth if that feels best for us. So listening to your body. Two more breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale into our table as we drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. Flowing our bodies to our damn dog. Gazing at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Finding pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank. Or dropping down to a low plank if that feels good. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga. Exhaling onto our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. A lot of times we tend to shrug our shoulders, but we want to relax those shoulders downward. This Sphinx pose is a slight back bend. We are relaxing on our forearms as we are gaze forward. 
with our eyes gazed down and closed, taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And exhale into our baby cobra, placing our palms next to our torso. We're gonna slightly lift our bodies away from the earth. We are in that baby cobra. Gaze forward, chin is up. Exhale into that cobra, straightening our elbows a little more. We are now in that cobra. Noticing how this feels in the number spine. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three breaths. <sighs> Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Cushion our torso towards our thighs. As we walk our dog. Finding pause, we're gonna walk our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over those thighs. Head relaxes downward towards the feet. Noticing how this feels in the body. As we take a breath in, exhale. Three more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Breathe back down, complete forward fold. Exhale to half. As we flow up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, standing nice and tall. <sighs> Feeling this movement, feeling this pose here as we feel strong and powerful. As our feet is connected to the earth, we are planted, we are rooted. We are standing strong here in our Tadasana. Relaxing those shoulders down. Spinal cord is nice and long, tummy is nice and tight. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute, fingertips reaches up towards the heavens, interlacing our fingers if that feels good, with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we are in our standing crescent moon. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Three more breaths. Exhale into center, crescent moon opposite side, feeling that side bend, gazing up at the heavens. Three more breaths. Exhale into center, coming to that standing salute. As we breathe our palms downward to our standing prayer, palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. In our standing prayer, may we gaze down at the earth or close our eyes. Taking a moment to go inwards and focus on self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now in our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. As we stand tall, as we stand firm, as we stay grounded and as we stay rooted on our path and, our, and on our journey here in life. Always knowing who we are, always willing to accept positive change and always being humble in our journey in life. No matter how far we go, how big we become, how deep we grow, how knowledgeable we become, 
May we always be humble and strong and firm and kind. Kindness always matters. So may this standing prayer pose remind you to, with our feet grounded to the earth, to stay planted, to stay rooted, to stay humble. As our head, our crown chakra ascends into the heavens as we grow, as we become. As we hang out here in this pose, four breaths, silent meditation. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, we're gonna come into the half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Notice it, how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Three breaths. Exhale into a complete forward fold, allowing the head to relax down, connecting our hands to our ankles or connecting our hands to the lower parts of our legs if we can't reach our ankles. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we yogi walk our feet, as we come into that half forward fold, maybe yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating a little stance in our body here. And then we flow back down, we're coming into a wide legged complete forward fold. Now in that torso to relax forwards here. And maybe we can sway our body from left to right here in our wide legged. Noticing how when we sway, notice on what parts of the body it affects, noticing how it feels within a body. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, may we flow into a rag dial. We're gonna hug our elbows with our hands, allowing that head to completely relax. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. As we breathe up, coming into that wide legged to dash and our palms are at our side. We're gonna point our feet towards the outer parts of our yoga mat, making our legs nice and wide legged. We're gonna drop our bodies down, coming into a goddess stance here. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here in our goddess. We are in our cactus hands, noticing how this feels. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into that salute. That is salute, two breaths. Exhale into prayer. Two more breaths, fill in a burn. Exhale, complete forward fold. Connecting our right hand to our right ankle and our left hand to our left ankle. Allowing that head to relax. Three breaths. Exhale into our half, forward fold. <sighs> Breathing back up to our wide leg. It's a the palms are at our side. Two breaths. <sighs> Exhaling back down to that goddess stance. We're in our cactus hands. Feeling that lower body getting nice and strong as we are toning and firming the lower parts of our bodies. Working on our bodies for our summer jeans, for our summer shorts as we pulse the body up and down, feeling that burn. Three more breaths, two breaths, finding pause as we rock our bodies from side to side. Noticing how this feels when we rock. 
Yes, we are toning. Yes, we are firming. And yes, we are feeling a burn and we got this. We're going to keep on flowing. Three more breaths. Two breaths. One breath. Exhale at center. Two more breaths. Feeling that burn. Exhale up to that standing star. Straightening out our legs. Arms are out towards the side. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. We are standing nice and strong in our standing star. Feeling like a star because we are a star. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to our goddess stance. We're gonna hold this pose. Four breaths. Feeling that burn. Four breaths, feeling that burn. Pulsing the body up and down if you choose. This is just an option. Rocking that body from side to side. This is just an option. Finding that pause. Exhale, complete forward fold. Relaxing that body. Walking our hands forward, breathing our legs together. We are back in our down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs to feel that stretch. Exhaling forward, coming into a high plank. Tummies are tight. Exhale down to low plank or chaturanga. Hovering over the yoga mat. Exhale down to our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. <sighs> relaxing and soothing the body here in our sphinx. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Noticing how the sphinx pose feel in a lumbar spine. Chin is slightly up. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. You know, we are not shrugged. Having control of that body. Three more breaths. Exhale into our baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, pushing our torso away from the earth. <sighs> Exhale into our cobra, straightening those elbows a little more. We are in our cobra. And our baby cobra, our elbows are bent. We are closer to the earth, baby cobra. And our cobra, elbows are straighter, further away from the earth. Chin is open, I'm sorry, heart chakra is open, chin is up. And now we're up dog, our thighs come off the earth. Chin is open, chin is up. Exhale and back to down dog. As we walk our dog with our tummies tight, Finding that pause as we breathe our right foot to our right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. <sighs> Noticing how this lunge feels within the body here. As we straighten that leg, coming into a pyramid, torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts downward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to that runner's lunge. As we drop down to our left knee, we are in our low lunge. As we push our torso away from our thigh, <sighs> breathing our palms above our head, this is an option. Feeling that stretch, we are, kind of, we are in a crescent lunge here. Gazing forward, heart chakras open, chin is up. This pose prepares the body for splits. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we frame that front foot, taking that knee off the earth, we are back in that runner's lunge. Exhale on that leg, coming back to that pyramid. Head relaxes down over that thigh. 
Three more breaths. Exhale and forward, flow into that runner's lunge. Breathe, down dog. Gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs to feel that stretch. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet. And may we find our paws. And we're gonna breathe that left foot to that left hand, coming into that runner's lunge. Opposite side. Runner's lunge, opposite side. As we straighten that front leg, coming into that pyramid, torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. As we drop that left knee down to the earth, we are now in our low lunge. Lifting our torso away from that thigh. This is an option. Breathing our arms above our head, coming into that low crescent lunge, coming into that crescent lunge. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. This prepares the other side of our body for split. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot, taking that right knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. As we breathe to that pyramid, straightening out that front leg, head melts downward towards the knee. Two more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bend the neck knee. Breathe down dog. Dropping down to our forearms. We're gonna flow into a dolphin pose here. Coming on down to our forearms, our buttocks is high in the air. As our head relaxes downward, gazing at our feet. Maybe walking our feet towards our torso, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. Dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. Maybe hang out here, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we drop down, as we drop down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. With our arms extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, we are in our extended wide-legged child's pose, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Taking a nice deep breath in, Exhale. Feeling that torso melt towards the earth. Five breaths, silent meditation. With our palms flat on the earth, may we use our palms to spiny wave our bodies out of our pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. And feeling that body wave here, feeling the spinal cord moving. See that there, we are waving. We are feeling the flow of the body, relaxing that entire spine. Feeling the rotations here in the spinal cord, working on that Kundalini experience. So spinal wave in that body, adding the head into the mix if that feels good. 
Three more breaths. Two breaths. <sighs> Finding our pause at table. Gonna breathe our knees hip distance apart as we drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come into a seated position. Just for a second, we're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. <sighs> Breathing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Mm. Noticing how this feels in the body as we allow our knees to fall towards the left. We are in a reclined spinal twist. Knees fall to the left. <sighs> right arm goes out to the sides like a T. As we gaze over that right shoulder or gaze up at the heavens, we can option to straighten that top leg across the left if that feels good <sighs> allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the earth feeling this spinal twist with our eyes gaze down and close five breaths Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Feeling that pose here, showing ourselves a little love, a little attention. As our knees fall to the opposite side. For me, it's towards the right. Feeling that spinal twist. We are in that reclined spinal, opposite side. Allowing that left arm to flow out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left shoulder. Or gaze up at the heavens. Using the option to take that left leg and straighten it out towards the side. Coming deeper into that stretch. Whatever feels best for you. We are in our reclined Spinal twist. With our eyes gaze down and closed. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we breathe our legs up in the air, legs go to wall poles. Pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens. We are in that plantar flex. As our toes point up towards the heavens, we are creating that arch in the lower parts of our feet, filling that arch. Breathing our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as our legs come towards our torso. Breathing our legs towards our torso. The lower parts of our bodies come slightly off the earth. Leg to torso stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall, relaxing the body. Breathing our knees into our chest, allowing that left leg to lay flat. So left leg is flat on the earth. Right leg is still near the chest. Feeling that stretch here. Feeling that stretch here. As we reach our right hand to our right toes or our right feet. And we're going to extend that leg. Feeling that stretch. Breathing that leg towards our torso if that feels good. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Oh, and I just want to share, we can option out when we're doing this pose, we can use a strap, placing that strap underneath our feet as we breathe, placing that strap underneath our feet as we breathe our leg towards our torso. So the strap is a nice option, or we could just connect our hand to our toe. 
three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling both knees to chest, hugging the knees into the chest. Allowing that right leg to lay flat on the, on the earth. With the left knee hugged in towards the chest here. Nice tight squeeze. As we connect our left hand to our left foot, we're going to straighten that leg up in the air. Feeling that stretch behind our legs here in our hamstrings. Using the option to take the strap and wrap that strap around the foot as we breathe that leg towards the torso. Or we don't have to use the strap, we can just go hand to toe, stretch. So whatever feels best for you, three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe both knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our feet to come flat on the earth with our knees in the air. We're gonna work on, we're gonna work on a bridge pose here. So feet are flat on the earth, knees are in the air with our palms next to our buttocks. Palms are face downward on the earth next to our buttocks. As we Use our feet and our hips to lift our buttocks off the earth. Working at gluteus maximus here. So learn how the gluteus maximus gets nice and tight. And we can actually walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord and bring our hands underneath our buttocks. Let's start over. We can actually breathe our hands underneath our buttocks as we walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how your torso comes higher in the air and your hips come higher in the air. We are in our bridge pose. And maybe if you choose crossing the body up and down, we're doing bridge pose crosses. And we're crossing, lifting, and rounding our gluteus maximus. We don't have to cross. This is just an option. We can stay still with our buttocks nice and high in the air, feeling that burn. Or we can rotate between the two. Whatever feels best for you, Bridge pose pulses or bridge pose. Five breaths. Hmm. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Coming up nice and tight. We're going to come in up. Pulse that body up and we're going to squeeze that gluteus maximus. Squeeze in that buttocks. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Feeling that burn. Nice and tight. Three breaths. Lifting that buttocks up. Two breaths. Uninterlacing those hands. Untucking those shoulders. Hugging the knees into the chest. Feeling the body relax. Hugging those knees in. This is a counter pose to what we just did. Exhaling those legs up in the air. Legs on the wall. Reaching our hands to the lower parts of our legs, breathing our torso, breathing our legs towards our torso. Buttocks comes off the earth. Three breaths. Exhaling those legs back up in the air, legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. As we cross our feet at our ankle, we're going to feel a nice, tight, and deep tummy crunch. We're going to lift our bodies up, flowing into a boat pose. So lifting that body up and feeling that, feeling that core muscles getting nice and tight here. We are working on that boat pose. With our legs crossed or our legs parallel, or we can be up in the air in our bridge. Whatever feels best for you. We are now working our core, our tummy muscles, as well as our obliques. Back so nice and straight here as we are gaze forward. Five breaths. Feeling that burn. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing those hands in, we're going to pound our hands from side to side. Tummies are tight. 
Now we're working our obliques a little more. Five breaths. Two more breaths. I'm sorry, three breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause. We're gonna breathe our hands to our feet. <sighs> Playing with our feet in our hand here. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long. We're just checking in with our body. As we find our pause, we're gonna straighten out that left leg towards the side. Feeling that stretch in our hamstrings. We're gonna hold this four breaths. Heart chakra's open, chin is up. Three breaths. Exhale and that foot inward. We're gonna straighten out that right leg. Notice how this feels behind our legs and our hamstring here. Feeling that stretch, tummy's tight, spinal cord's long, four breaths. Heart mm -hmm. chakra's open, chin is up, two more breaths. Exhale that leg back in, straightening out that left leg, feeling that stretch. Straightening out that right leg. We are now in our boat pose variation. We can option to bend our knees if that feels best, or we can straighten our legs. We also can come nice and wide-legged, coming into that wide-legged V, noticing how this feels. We also can breathe our legs together, breathing our knees inward, bringing our legs inward, noticing how that feels. Whatever you choose, we're gonna do a boat pose variation for four, more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling our feet together, coming into a bound position, flowing into that diamond or that butterfly. With our heart chakra open, our chin up, allowing our head to flow between the shoulder blades. We are in that cow pose. Exhale into cat. Lower back to cow. Exhale to cat. Come into our center pose, relaxing and soothing here. Using our hands to bring our knees inward as we cross our feet, coming into a easy seat or a half lotus. Whatever pose feels good for you. We're gonna take our left hand, place our left hand on our right knee. We're gonna place our right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. And we're gonna gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist. We are soothing and relaxing the spine here. Four breaths with our eyes gaze down or closed. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, connecting both hands to our laps. As we take our right hand, connect our right hand to our left knee, taking our left hand behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us. Gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling the spinal twist opposite side, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Doing a couple of shoulder shrugs towards the back, lifting the shoulders up towards the ears, rotating them towards the back. Shoulder shrugs to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, 
And we're going to shoulder shrugs opposite direction, lifting those shoulders up towards the ears, rotating them forward. Shoulder shrugs forward. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. Notice how just doing shoulder shrugs can make the top part of the body. Notice how just by doing shoulder shrugs can work the top part of the body. Once again, little movements can have a major impact. You can feel your shoulders feeling nice and broad and strong and firm. As we find our paws, placing our palms on our lips, tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we take a nice deep breath in, hold the breath. Exhale. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the lights in you all. Namaste. Namaste.